And I told you I'd show you some more cats. This one, this is little kitty. I found her outside. She's about 10, about 10 years ago. She's real nice too. I found her at the river crying in a like multi-fluorose bush and she was any like, I don't know, about the size of my hand. I've had her since she's been a baby. Little kitty. She's beautiful. Say, huh? Oh, I hear you. You're nice, little kitty. All right, well, I start the video out with little kitty, and there's lots of good tips on how to find airheads in this video. Lots of them. So watch where I find the airhead in this video. I found one right where I've been sifting. I'm down on the base clay. That's where all the good stuff's at. Um, you'll learn something in this one. There's some secrets and tips that will lead you to some points if you do what I say. Later. Well, fix. I, I don't even know what to say. This is the, I just pulled my kayak up right here. And you saw the wind in my last video. There was white caps on the middle of the river that were this high. There was no way after the storm front hit in the last night that I could even take this kayak across the river without dying. Um, so the waves were just pounding this beach. And this is right in where I was sifting. And man, fix, I got an Amos laying flat out over there where the waves come up. Right in here is where I found these points in my last video. Um, look there, there's a core of black. Um, it rained real hard too. And I would say that the rain washed this one out. It poured in the night. You can see right here. There's a footprint from the last time I was here yesterday. See how it's all, it's all eroded out. But let's go up here and look at this. I got a smoker. It's, you know, I can see the needle tip on it. It's just looks as nice as the last one. Look right here. Needle tip serrated Amos Point made of Onondaga chert again. It's the same material. Oh, folks. I can't even believe this. And look here. Here's another flake. Look, there's the cortex of the river cobble. Look at the cracked up fire rock oh my goodness this point looks nice i'm gonna have to get pictures um i'm gonna have to look around and see the base clay is right here so the only material to sift is a little bit of see there's a little bit of loose stuff here that's eroded out of this bank i've scraped almost all of it off to the base clay there ain't much here to sift see tiny little finishing flakes everywhere in here oh folks i can't even believe this that's another just year maker. I'll get back. Let me get pictures later. Well, here we go. I can, and a barge just went by. Look at these waves. I'm going to have to let it settle down to look the rest of this. It stinks that that I won't be able to look in the water now for a half hour. Ah, but here we go. A smoking stun. Oh, it's nice. That's got a little barb ding but man that's still a dandy lately it's a shame on that one of the barbs is gone but still on and dogga just like the last one i found man if that barb would have been there it would have been a year maker but that's worthy of restoration man that's nice still there we go folks all right just points all i found on this section the water's muddy from that barge so I'm going to go up there and sift around and try to get any material off the base clay where I found this. And then I'll go farther and look when the water clears up. See, this has been rained on, but this is the base clay right here. Anything laying on the base clay is what's going to have the points in it. See the fire rock and stuff here? Um, it's where the points are going to be at. Um, 
and see there's little pockets of stuff i scoop that stuff up you're not really digging a hole you're just skimming the stuff right off the off the base clay is where all of it's at i'll get back if i see anything later all right you can see the water's going up right in there is where i found these last few amos points and it's underwater so i will have to uh go down further and look that stinks that one was laying out this is just up higher from where i found it it was just laying out right in here there ain't much beach right in here there's not much beach i tried to get some screens here but there just ain't enough material to do any sifting it's all just on the clay and i've sifted it all so that was just one i missed later <laughs> worth the trip uh. all right see there's a little flake of flint ridge right there little tiny flake if you want to see that stuff in the wash the tiny little flakes not all even the bigger flakes that could have been a bigger flake that broke up over time um but down here it rained real hard all my tracks are erased so there's at least a chance in this little strip that i can look to find something laying out or do a little bit of sifting see i could sift this and there could very well be something laying right here under me or around me. if there's flint flakes laying out there's artifacts 100 percent but if i see anything else i will get back to you i'm already on the board um kind of takes the pressure off but i'll see what else i can get Right there. But I will I'll get back at you later. Alright, here's a, another good example of what I'm looking. Huge high cut bank. This is I don't know, 20 foot high right here, and I'm not even to the bottom of it. There's still another flat below me. But you can see this is all beach clay. See how all the rocks laying on it, it's sliding down it. See right here's a pocket of it. See how it's thicker? about an inch and a half two inches here all of this is siftable there's nothing siftable on this come up a little higher here's siftable stuff see can't really push into the base clay all the rocks laying right on it all the arrowheads are laying right on it all the coins are laying right on it all the bullets you can see here's metal right on the base clay won't sink into it very much everything's on the base clay that's the mentality you gotta have. Look at all this, look here. Here's evidence of Indians. Big flake of green shirt right here. Awesome wash, all the stuff's laying right on the base clay. There could very well just be anything laying right in a place like this. See this little lip here? Little tiny finishing flake right there, look at it. Could be anything in places like this. I'll get back to the anything later. All right, here's in a little bit farther down the beach. All oh, this is base clay. All the sand and stuff's washed away from erosion here because of real heavy winds and rain. All the rocks laying right on the base clay. This is the stuff. See the little pocket right here? How the rocks laying in it? The arrowheads will lay right in this too. I'm looking for bigger pockets than this, but this is what you want to see right here. That's river cobble church. It's not breaking open. But this is what you want to look for, folks, below a real high bank. It'll all be sluiced down. Right there's a flake. Look at that. It's like that on Indaga stuff. Um, I could find something else. Um, I'll get back if I see anything. All right, the water went up. It rained real hard last night and it went up like, I don't know, 10 or 12 inches and it makes a big difference on the beach. And where I found these last Amos points, um, it's slightly underwater and I'm not digging underwater today. I did some screens from up in here, but there just isn't enough flint to keep me interested. I, I found some. I'll shove it on clean up in the point. But down in the uh, description below this video, there'll be two links to other arrowhead hunting videos just from the last couple days where I found another point like today that's absolutely perfect and five times as nice as this one. Um, and then a big black one some tools. I've been on a pretty nice little run for Amos culture stuff here on this site um, Got another piece today. I'll get back at you on my next hunt. I'll put some more stuff on here later All right, I'm back home. It's a real shame that when you, I saw that laying there the way it was laying You couldn't tell it was broke. I thought it was another smoker, but here's the one yesterday same material found within feet of each other I would say without a doubt the same dude made them both probably all of this stuff i'd say it's a cash same one or two people right there um but it would have been just as nice as the one but that's the way it goes 
Onondaga shirt again. Um, you can't beat this. Um, some pretty nice stuff. Um, some of the stuff's going to be broke. You can see some of them are broke, but you get these real nice ones. And I'm getting them again. I'm on them. Wasn't bad today. And you need to watch the video when I'm showing the base clay. All the stuff's laying on that base clay. That's what you want to kind of picture in your mind. All the stuff's kind of moving around like the sand at the ocean, but slower on the river. There'll be pockets of stuff. It might be here, then it might be here. But you want to scoop all that stuff up. And I will show you what kind of screens I use, too, in this video. And you just need a shovel, and you need to scoop that stuff off very gently. Kind of feel with your shovel until you're just barely touching the base clay and getting maybe a little piece of it in your screen. You should be seeing that because the points are stuck to the base clay almost like fly paper. It just, like, sucks them onto it, and it sticks them to it. These flakes are all from today. You can see right here's flakage of the stuff these points are made of. The flakes right off the manufacturer of them. Onondaga right there. Here's another piece. I can nap too. Um, this is a preform for another one of these points. But you see how it's real thick. This is a little river cobble right there of Onondaga. You can see it's the same stuff. It's in cobble form because it's eroded out and laid in the river channel for a long time. Then the Indian found it, started napping it. And this has a knot in the stone, almost like a knot in wood. And they started making a preform for one of these little points out of this. And there's a hard spot in the flint here. And they couldn't get it thinned down, so they just threw this one down. It's a discarded preform for a point. Right in there, you can see that in impurity. That's why they threw this piece down, 100%. More flakes of stuff. You can see some of it's high quality. Here's a piece of real high quality stuff. This translucent. This is from today too. I sifted this. I sifted all around, but the water went back up. Where I found these points is under like that much water now, so it kind of ruined it. But here you go, and I will show one of my other cats next in my basement. I was just down there playing with them. Um, I, they're all rescues. I'll show another one in the next video too. I have a couple more to show. But thanks for watching and think about the things I say about the base clay those are really good tips for finding points if you're sifting that's what you want to sift the stuff I showed in this video and next I'll show my sifters real quick and kind of explain what they are and how to get them later all right here's some sifters I'm using these things because I've had this thing 20 years easy um, found thousands of points with it. It never they never wear out. You never have to replace the chicken wire screen This is fourth inch. I use this kind of stuff for bird points This is just a little bigger bird points can get right through this stuff tiny ones true bow and arrow points They're that small on the river um, But this is all you need and you want to find that base clay a lot of places You know there'll be base clay like this. I'll do a drawing in the house real quick and show you too then there'll just be sand on all of it, and you'll never see the base clay. All the points will be settled down on the base clay, most of them. There'll be some mixed in there, but the majority of them are right on the base clay. I'll do a diagram and show you, just so you really understand it, because this will really help you find points. You see how I find them about every time I sift. But this is what you want. You want, you, you got to know what you're finding. If you're finding real small points, you want to go with this real small screen just take your time and you want the most surface area on a screen you can if you build a box sifter that's this big like where this thing is you're never going to find nothing it has to be at least that surface area of this you see they're about the same i did it for that purpose you need them that big say the stuff's fanned out when you're looking at it it helps big time this is all going to help you so hope you guys all find some stuff that are watching that want to later all right, here's what we're kind of looking at at the river. Let's say out here. That's the water, right here's the edge of the water. Right up here is the high bank that I showed in this video. You'll come down and the base clay will start in here at the top, you'll find it. But in a lot of cases, there'll be stuff washed in here on the base clay. It'll be like, you know, anywhere from down in here closer to the water, it can be four or five foot thick of just <coughs> sand and sediment 
but most of it's come out to here. And with the dams in the river, the water's higher than normal. This lip that I'm looking up here and showing that's cut straight up and down, that used to be land clear out into here in Indian times. So all of that earth, that 20 foot, all the rock that was in it is fallen down and is laying on the base clay. Of course, there is some mixed in the sediment, and that's what people surface hunting look. It's all been thrown around and moved around, and a lot of the points are damaged. When they points fall out of the bank, let's say a hematite axe falls out of the bank. It's heavy. It's going straight to the base clay. It's going to lay on the base clay and be stuck on the base clay for a long time. There may be sand in here. You may never see the base clay on a site you're hunting. I'm cleaning it off to where the base clay is always exposed on the best sites, and then I'm going back and hunting it. And that's why that point was laying out today. I've gradually cleaned it off, and now I'm going back and looking concentrated areas that have like, all this stuff's been sluiced down, and all the artifacts, the coins, everything that was in this, this, uh, this earth up here is laying right here. That's the principle. Um, the farther you get down towards the shore, the longer that stuff's been down. Erosion, waves, freezing and thawing, all of that can damage these points. You want to try to get them as quick as you can when they're coming out of this bank, when they're getting sluiced down in here on this stuff. Hope that helps. That's how I'm finding everything, folks. All of it. Later.